In today's video, man, I'm posting a video down in the description uh, talking about STD and STI misinformation. Man, and hoping that somebody will watch this video, check the link out, and possibly turn from their wicked ways. It may not hit millions, it may not hit the masses, but if one person can be turned towards righteousness, that's good enough. Let's talk about it. to the Most High Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, I got a video down in the description talking about STD and STI misinformation on how what the masses have been told uh, is not proven true. And we've seen this time and time again after the pandemic where they were saying certain stuff was safe and effective and then uh, post people getting it they're having all these issues only to find out that uh, that agency is still dealing with uh, lawsuits and all kind of uh, all kind of drama surrounding the misinformation that stemmed from their guidance Man, you better thank Yah for his mercy if you lived a sinful life prior to be born again and you didn't catch any of these STDs and STI. You better thank him like you have a reason to thank the Most High Yah for his mercy because we're living in a daytime and hour where pride and abominations is at an all-time high. You know, there's people out there that are looking for a pill that will allow them to have uh, sinful pleasures and sinful sex, abominable sex. Also, they can uh, uh, attempt to try to avoid the judgments of the Most High Yah. And there's a young lady in here, a daughter of Zion, who says she caught HIV when she was 17 years old. And you have to be able to discern what people are saying. You know, she said there was something in her spirit that told her when the doctors had sent her home after doing all these tests and so there was nothing wrong with her. She said, check. She told the doctors to check her for HIV and she was positive. This young lady often tells the story this young lady tells the story of the kind of life that she was living. And she says she was promiscuous. And when you think about that, the Most High Yah has his way and his ways are above our ways. And oftentimes, man, you can get so comfortable in your sin to where you're trying to uh, avoid the judgments of the Most High Yah. The Most High Yah even has judgments for people that uh, play with his word, come up with false doctrine. He says all the plagues of these book of this book will be added unto you. And that's for people that have come up with all this doctrine that have led people astray. So in his word, he talks about uh, things that are an abomination. In this video, I want you to realize you have a promiscuous woman, you have a doctor on the panel, and then you have a, a man that lives an alternative lifestyle. And you have people that will go so far in their pride, in their boldness, of not trying to advocate righteousness. They will be trying to advocate, uh, trying to make uh, abominable acts more safer. There is no safety from the judgment of Yah if you are involved in stuff that he told you he is going to issue judgment for. And this stuff is more and more prevalent in the last days. 
once upon a time in history, before they had these names and diagnoses, they would just simply flat out let you die. And we got all these technological advancements uh, to, 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 to tell you about it, the statistics out here. These cities, man, you got cities like Atlanta, Houston, a lot of these major cities are running rampant with it. And you got men and women tell you to move there uh, because the dating life and the, and the social scene is popping. Telling you, man, you better turn from your wicked ways while you got a chance. Don't watch this video and sit back and think that you can go do something that's against his will and he's gonna spare you because I'm here to tell you, man, I'm putting the message before you. I'm putting the message before you. Turn from your wicked ways, humble yourself. Man, I don't even, with all this stuff going on, all of this witchcraft, all of this, this foolishness going on, this wickedness, Man, I don't even desire to be out in these streets. My wife will tell you, I stay home for the most part. I'm either going to the grocery store, going to work, or going to Lowe's, getting build supply. Other than that, man, I ain't trying to be out, you know, in these streets. You got to think, man, these people, there's people out there that know they're living foul, know they're living wrong. They're living in this girlfriend, boyfriend culture, and you're not even safe. You, you think, hey, I was straight. I was a straight man and a straight woman. You're still doing something sinful, fornicating. There was a price to be paid. You see what I'm saying? See, Hamashiach paid the price so you wouldn't have to, but you can't go out here moving ignorantly and then thinking uh, you're gonna come out pure white. You gotta think a 17 year old girl that was promiscuous, what was a 17 year old girl doing at that age? Boyfriend, girlfriend culture? Possibly uh, uh, having sex with athletes and stuff like that? Where you see these people that are prideful in their rebellion, in their transgression? Man, there's some amongst them that are infected and don't even know it. There's men and women that have engaged in alternative lifestyle using all these protective measures and still have contracted this stuff still have contracted it. Man, there was a video out where a woman steps out on her husband and that's a biblical case of adultery because she is a married woman, steps out on her husband and catches HIV. Man, this stuff is real. And this is, this is not the kind of dirt where you can take a bar of dial soap and a washcloth and wash it off with a wash rag. Your immune system is forever compromised. And these people are, some of these people on this panel is trying to normalize it by telling you, uh, if you listen to here, they say you can live a normal life with this. What? What? And that's how dangerous this stuff is because you will have people that believe that they are normal while being infected, going out, having all this casual sex, doing all this casual dating and passing this stuff around. You're not gonna hear, I've never heard, and if it is, it, it, it's probably very rare. I've never heard of nobody fearing the Most High Yah and keeping his law, statutes, and commandments and coming in contact with this stuff uh, while doing so. I just haven't heard it. it. I'm not saying it's not out there, but I just haven't heard it. Nine times out of 10, when you look at these cases, man, you see some sort of rebellion deep down. Even in, even in straight people, there's a rebellion towards the Most High Yah. You know, fornication. You can be out here and be like, well, I'm not in that community and be a straight person, man or woman. But if you are fornicating, you're opening yourself up to this stuff. And that's why I said, man, you better thank Yah for his, oh, you better thank him for his mercy. Because he spared you long enough for you to be able to hear this. And then you take this message and don't take it to heart and go back out here and gamble with your life, man, man, that woman that said she was 17 and contracted it, man, it's already hard enough for modern women uh, to get married because of their mindset. Add on top of that HIV, you got this disease, this infection, 
in your mind ain't right? Oh, man. Woo. Come on. There's people out there so prideful, so rebellious, and they don't even realize that they're agents of Hasatan. They know they're sick. And they're gonna, they're gonna cover it up. They're gonna disguise and lay down with you to fulfill the lust of their flesh and just pass it on to the masses. Pass it on to the masses, man. I hope you hear this message. I hope you hear this message loud and clear. All glory goes to the Most High Yah, and I hope just one person uh, can hear this message and say, you know what, man, I need to, I need to turn my life over. Because the way I'm living, hey, this, my life is doomed. I am damned. Hope one person can hear this message, man. Closer to y'all, ministry's kicking that thing, gun barrel straight.